Hello guys, hope you're doing well and as always, if you're new to my channel, I would humbly request you to subscribe to my channel so that you shall be able to watch all the latest engineering videos that I will upload for you guys. Thank you. Alright, the problem at our hand today is that uh, it is a problem for equilibrium of particle in 2D. Okay, And the problem says that uh, a scale is constructed using the 10 kg mass okay uh, this is our mass the 2 kilogram pan p there is uh, this is the, the lower thing this lower thing is the pan whose mass is 2 kilograms and the pulley and cord arrangement is being added with this pan p cord b c a this b a and C, B, C, A, from uh, till this point, this red arrow, this hole is one single cord whose length is basically uh, two meters long. Okay, so this says that if you measure the length from here to here, it is one point five meter. This is one cord, and then there is a ring, and there is another cord which is starting from this ring and moving to pulley C and then goes down, down, down till this arrow and from here to point C to this ring, this is one single cord and then from B to point A, this is another cord. But if you add the length from here to here and from point B to point C till this, the total length given is 2 meters long. Okay, And he says the distance from point C to this arrow is 0.75 meters. We need to determine the mass D in the pen. In this pen P whose weight is basically being 2 kilograms, you have to measure this small weight D. Okay. And he is also saying that uh, this apart from this you have to calculate, then you also have to calculate uh, the tension which is basically being developed in the uh, basically uh, pan because of this weight. We are also interested in the tension and uh, if just always remember from A to B is one cable and from B to point C to point D is another cable. Uh, why I am saying this because you can see this is a different cable, its picture is different and from here to here it is a different picture. So. Uh, before starting, we can very easily say that uh, the tension in this cable from here to here will be uh, nothing but it will be equal to the uh, weight of this 10 kilogram mass. And if I want to calculate the tension here, uh, it will be what? It will be 10 kg into 9.81. So the tension from here to here is nothing but it is equals to 98.1 Newton okay and you can see uh, in this uh, figure of ours which is basically uh, this is the point uh, if you look at it B point okay and it is you can easily uh, say that this point over here is basically this is the point B okay this is the point B and this tension now could be easily considered as this tension from here so here is 98.1 Newton. Okay. Now, once this is being done, we can uh, start our problem. Uh, this is uh, FBDA. If you look from here, from here to here, it is this cable. And from here to here, this, uh, there is another cable. And this cable is a separate cable and we do not know the tension in this cable. The tension in this cable will be the function of this weight of the pan P in which weight D is there, the block D is there. So we can say this is the TAB, okay. Now we can easily see that uh, if we draw uh, this B as our pivot, it will have some angle phi and from here it will, uh, from B, this cable along the, if you go along the x-axis, it will have some angle theta. They will not be same because if you look at this picture, there is no symmetry, okay. From here to here, there is no symmetry even though this length and this length is same okay and uh, at b you can see they have basically putting the mass m into 9.81 which we are interested in uh, to calculate okay and uh, the pan p mass is basically 
uh, a constant which have they already told us okay so we say that this unknown will be m into 9.81 another if you look at this figure b it is very interesting and if if basically from if you look at it from this point b if i draw a straight line if i draw a straight line it will be exactly like this from here uh, just to let you know if i draw a uh, basically a straight line okay so it will be the same picture here this triangle and from here this is this triangle okay and this is 90 this is 90 and you know it very well that uh, if i draw here and if i draw here okay you know that uh, this angle if this angle is basically this is phi so this will also be phi and you know very well that uh, if basically when we draw this angle over here this angle was also from here to here it was if this angle is theta if this angle is theta which is going over here the other angle over here this angle will also be theta because this angle is theta okay so you know it very well in the picture now so just to let you know that is why this phi and theta are coming over here okay so i hope you have understood uh, this concept okay so now you can see from this picture that the distance from here to here is 1.5 and the distance from this point to this point is unknown which is y and from here to here the total length is 1.5 this total length is 1.5 so we can say the distance from uh, this point to this point is x and the total and the distance from this point to this point will be 1.5 minus x so it will be 1.5 minus x the total distance is 1.5 okay so we treat assume that this distance is x and we assume uh, this distance is x this distance is 1.5 so what will be this distance it will be 1.5 minus x and this is y and see so many unknowns are being there in this problem another very important calculation that we will use is you can see that what will be this length what will be this length we know the length from here to here to here is how much it is being given in the question that this length is basically 2 meters long but they say that the length from here to here is 0.75 meter but total length is from here to here is 2 meters so if we want if we are interested in calculating uh, basically this length what we can do is basically from the total we can basically assume that uh, basically this length will be basically very easily 2 minus 0.75 meter so we will be assuming that this length will be 2 minus 0.75 meter so it will be as 1.25 meter so this is 1.25 meter because we know this length very easily okay so this is how 1.25 is coming now uh, we have understood the basic concept of this problem okay and uh, let's uh, start the process of putting sigma fx equal to 0 so now we can say that uh, uh, the components will be very easily calculated that uh, this component horizontal component will be 98.1 cos theta and again uh, this will be positive and what about tab uh, it component will be tab uh, cos of phi but it is in the negative x so it is tab cos phi equal to 0 this is from the figure a again we go from the figure a we say sigma f y equal to 0 so it will be again uh, tab sin phi which uh, what it will be it will be this component it will be this component it is positive what about the other one theta one again it will be 98.1 sin theta it is also acting towards positive y and what about this component which is acting on the uh, negative y it will be m into 9.81 but the direction is minus so this is our equation 2 equation 1 is there equation 2 is there now uh, we will go to figure b this is again our figure b from figure b we can very easily calculate uh, if this is 1.5 this is x and this is y we can apply the hypotenuse uh, 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 basically over here so it will be 1.5 the whole square is equals to x square plus y square and we call this as uh, equation 3 
also from figure B, if we look at this triangle, it will be what? It will be uh, 1.25 meter, 1.25 the whole square, the hypotenuse, it will be y square, which is this y square and it will be 1.5 minus x the whole square. So this is our equation 4. Okay. Now from 3, from this equation we can take out y square and uh, what is y square 1.5 the whole square minus x square put uh, 3a this equation which is 3a y square value in 4 we will put it over here in 4 so we will get 1.25 the whole square in, is equal to 1.5 minus x the whole square plus this all is nothing but it is y square so 1.5 the whole square minus x square now this is a minus b the whole square we expand it and basically uh, you simplify this x square and the x square will get uh, cancelled out will only be left with the single x in the whole equation and that will be minus 3x plus 2.9375 equal to 0 so x comes out to be 0.9792 meter now you put this value of x in equation 3 now you put this and you get y equals to 1.1363 uh, meter now we are interested in calculating this phi and theta and uh, because we have calculated x and y we can simply apply sine phi and sine theta so from figure b from this sine phi sine phi will be equals to opposite upon hypotenuse which is y over hypotenuse is 1.5 where we get this ratio and we take the phi, phi equals to sine inverse of this ratio it will be 49.25 degrees and what about this again we can apply sine phi for theta so it will be again opposite upon hypotenuse uh, which is one point, y upon 1.25 y upon 1.25 so you get your theta calculated as this now you have got your phi and theta of this triangle now what we can do we can put this phi and theta in equation 1 and equation 2 this is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2 when we put it uh, we will get the unknowns m and tab uh, very easily and the value of t comes out to be 62.62 newton and m comes out to be 13.9 kg a very interesting problem uh, and i hope uh, the solution of this problem will help you thank you very much you have a wonderful day